Now to an update on a story you saw only on Fox about two weeks ago. A three year old girl who allegedly broke her femur bone at a Houston daycare center. Yeah, and the father spoke exclusively with our Gabby Hart, and since then she's been digging to get more answers about what happened. That's right, we said we were going to stay on top of this, and that's exactly what we've been doing. I've reached out to everyone from CPS, HPD, and to the agency that regulates daycares in the state of Texas. But still, this father has zero answers about what sent his daughter to the hospital with an injury to one of the strongest bones in the human body. Uh. Three-year-old Janaya Guzman is still at home, unable to walk, and her father and sole provider is now unable to work because he has to care for his daughter. That's the leg broken in half. On October 6th, Raymond Jones says he went to pick up Janiyah from Walker's daycare center in the Sunnyside community of Houston. He says he found her on the ground, trembling in pain. So he rushed her to the hospital, where he learned her femur bone had been broken. They act like they don't know nothing. We went to that daycare center on October 10th and spoke with the owner, James Walker. How did she break her leg? I, I don't know. On Wednesday, October 19th, we called to see if there was any update. Uh, hi, this is uh, Gabby Hart with Fox 26 News. I was wondering if James Walker was available. The phone was somehow disconnected the first try, so we called back. Walker, say, can I help you? Yes, is James Walker available? No, ma'am. Would you like to leave a message? Yes, I would. So far, we haven't gotten a response. Jones says when CPS came to the hospital, his daughter told them, quote, Ashley hit me. He says Ashley is the name of a daycare employee. CPS sent us a statement saying they are investigating and, quote, findings from our investigation will be turned over to the HHSC, the state agency that licenses and regulates daycares in Texas. We also reached out to the HHSC. They sent a statement saying once an investigation is complete, they'll recommend or impose enforcement actions based on the seriousness of the situation. That statement went on to say, HHSC conducts on-site monitoring of all licensed child care centers once a year. We last visited Walker's daycare on April 28th of 2022 and found no deficiencies at that time. And our Houston police also have their child abuse team uh, investigating this case as well. Uh, as for that father, he has hired legal representation and they're also looking for answers. Of course, we'll continue to follow this closely and as soon as we learn more, so will you. I'm Gabby Hart. Fox 26 News.